This is the 8th grade TCAP math practice test question number 29. It says parallel lines uh, T and U are cut by a transversal and form 8 angles. If the measurement of angle 2 is equal to 112 degrees, what is the measure of angle 5? Uh, there's a couple ways you can go about doing it. If you know anything about how parallel lines and transversals work, they sort of make like little pluses. Anything in the same basic area of the plus are congruent. Those are called corresponding angles. So I've got like this little plus up here of 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then I've got the same plus down here, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So if I was looking to know, if I knew something about 2 being 112, it's in the top right corner. The top right corner down here is 6, so this is equal to 112. So I know that 6 is equal to 112 as well. If you look, this is a straight line, which means angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees. Well, if I know that this is equal to 112, it would help if I added a little notation in there to show their angles so I don't combine them, the terms together. Oops, I was thinking ahead. I subtract 112, so my final answer would give me 68 degrees. So the answer to number 29 is A. What if you don't want to do it that way, you want to do it another way? There's plenty of ways to do this problem, so let's look at it again. So in the same thing, uh, the 112, uh, number angle 2 is still worth 112 degrees. Uh, we have something where we use vertical angles, and then we use the alternate ex interior angles, and, and from there we kind of uh, figure out what the values are. So what I'm going to do is pick any angle and mark it. Long story short, in my class we call this butt angle butt, but whatever. So I'm going to pick angle 2. You just pick one of the external angles, uh, the exterior angles. 1, 2, 7, or 8 are fine. Then I choose the vertical angle, which is the one that has the same butt. As you can see, angle 2 and angle 3 share the same butt. Here it is. So angle 2 and angle 3 I mark. Then uh, there's this show that you speak uh, on a long time ago. They've remade the movies a few times called Zorro. Well, he tends to make these Z's and trees when he's been there to let them know that it was him. So I'm going to make my Zorro. As you see, this angle is inside that part of the Z. So is this one. So I mark but, Zorro, but. So I do the same but here. If they are both marked... So if the angles I'm looking for, in this case, I'm looking for angle 2 and angle 5. If they are both marked, then I set them equal to each other. So if both 2 and 5 had marks on them, or if they're both not marked. So in this case, angle 2 is marked, but angle 5 is not. When 1 is marked and 1 is not, they're supplementary, which is to say angle 2 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees. So, but, Zorro, but, whatever. Uh, I know angle 2 is 112, plus angle 5 is 180. So, working out the math, angle 5 would be 68. So, if you lose your mind and sort of forget, hey, if you lose your mind and sort of forget, if you just pick an angle, mark it, uh, mark its butt, make the Zorro, so here, and mark that butt, but, Zorro, but, you can find the angles. If they're both marked or unmarked, so both the same, they are equal to each other. If one is marked and one is not, you set them, uh, the sum is 180, or you set them equal to each other and equal to 180, and then just solve. Very simple. 